A lot of students come into the library with questions about how to graph data. In this video we're going to be looking at how to graph data for a time-based science lab. The first step in the process is going to be collecting and organizing your data. That's going to be the important step because you want to make sure you get it into the Excel spreadsheet in the proper format. Uh, next you're going to pick the type of chart you'll need uh, and that can be a little bit tricky. Uh, depending on what it is that you're trying to do with it. And then finally, once you have the right uh, chart, you'll need to uh, label the graph and all its items. For this particular example, we'll talk about the effect of food availability on yeast population. Uh, notice that we have the, uh, the title up at the top. We have all of the, um, the items labeled with the proper units. This is an important thing to, uh, to be aware of. Uh, you want all the headers, all the titles labeled with the proper units, and then you want the numbers by themselves without anything listed because uh, Excel will not understand if you add, for instance, if you put in minutes here or uh, grams here. So you just want the clear numbers uh, and the units listed in the header. Once you have the data correctly listed on your, on your spreadsheet, you can now pick the type of chart you need. First, we want to select the data that we're going to be using. Notice that we, we just drag across, select all the data, including the headers of, of each column, and then we insert a uh, chart. Now, a lot of people would think that it would be a line chart that we're going to be inserting, but this is a time uh, this is a time based graph with three setups, and it actually the, the best um, chart would be a scatter chart. We'll click that and we'll be looking for a scatter with smooth lines and markers. We click that and here comes our chart. Take a look at this. You'll see that there are the minutes down at the bottom and here are the three setups that we have. The last step now that we have our uh, graph is to label the graph uh, completely. For this chart, we'll be adding a title and axis and titles for the axes. Uh, we go back to the chart tools and we click on layout, and we have the chart title. We're going to have it um, above the chart, and then we're going to cut and paste this in, like so. And then we also need to um, have axis titles. Uh, we'll start with the primary axis title. The horizontal uh, will have it below the axis, and we will be typing in, um, you know, time. And we always want to remember our units, time in terms of minutes. And then we go up, back up to the axis titles, and we look for our vertical. We're going to have a rotated title, and we're going to select that, and put in volume and the units. And that should be it. We now have our chart the way it should look.